time. The thing we all want more of other than money. More time to relax, more time to exercise, more time to spend with our families, more time to work. It's so easy to blame time or use it as an excuse because we know we can't control it and nobody can create time. Or can we? There are hundreds of books on how to make more time. Basic time management principles. I was fascinated by this in my 20s and I believed that time is a treasure given to us and what we do with it is going to determine our measure of success. Like the story of the talents in the Bible. I still believe it to some extent, but I'm more inclined now to believe that it's not about our measure of success, but rather the kind of success. I believe we become what we spend the most time on. Time changes everyone. We age, we grow, we change over the years, but what we spend our time on will determine how we age, what we grow into and who we become. For example, if we spend all our time gardening, we will probably not age well because our skins will be harmed by the sun and our backs would have taken strain. We will grow into a magnificent gardener with knowledge and skills other people who didn't spend the same amount of time on it wouldn't have. Who we become will probably be someone calm, who finds peace in nature and encourages their children to appreciate it too. From all the books I read on time management, there were a few by John Maxwell that really inspired me. And to to this day, I remember two of his time management principles that I still try to apply to my daily life. Number one, the salami principle. It's basically the same as how do you eat an elephant? (laughs) One bite at a time. The idea is that if you eat a whole salami one bite at a time, it is harder to track your progress and know how far you still have to go. However, if you slice it up, you can count the slices and plan better and have a more realistic time goal. Everything in life works like this. One feels overwhelmed if you just jump into the pool of things you have to do without knowing how far you have to swim. But if you take a moment to organize what you have to do and then prioritize it, Then you can tick it off as you go along and easily track your progress in the process and set the realistic deadline for completion. Number two, never touch paper twice. Well, today we don't file anymore as everything is digital, but remember the days where we had an in tray and a filing tray? The latter would grow a tower height because hardly anybody enjoyed filing. The concept is that if you printed the page, file it immediately, don't touch it again. And then you don't have to attack the filing tower and spend days to complete it or even spend money to hire someone to do it. I hate having to do something over, so I always try to do it right the first time. And this is again true for everyday life. If you use the scissors for instance, go put it back in its place where you know you will find it again next time, as then you won't waste time looking for it when you need it again. And don't do something half-heartedly. Telling yourself you will fix it later, chances are that if you don't have time to do it right now, you won't have time to fix it later. There's a close relationship between money and time. You know that saying that time is money? It probably refers to what we have just discussed, that how you spend your time will affect how much money you produce in the end. But I think it also refers to investing. If you leave money in the market for a longer time, chances are that you will have more than the person who invested it for a shorter period. There are many factors playing a role in the outcome of investments, but I dare to say that time is probably the most important. If you have a realistic time goal and align your investment assets accordingly, you should give your money time to reach that term before you give up on it. This will determine the measure of success of your money in the end. Now you have spent enough time listening to me. Go spend some time on something that will have lasting returns, like your family for instance.